All right, guys, uh, I'm going to be doing the inbox for you today. You guys have been keeping Albert way too backed up with all the emails. Uh, keep them coming, but uh, he's a little too busy, so I'm going to take over for it today. Um, let's see. Let's jump right into it. Uh, first question, uh, we got an email from uh, Pat. I'm in the market for a new computer. Can't decide whether to go with uh, Intel NVIDIA, Intel ATI, AMD with ATI. You know, which way to go to. Says here, uh, wants to play Crisis, uh, basically wants to eat Crisis for breakfast, is what he says. Uh, I'm unsure if he wants to run uh, two 4870X2s or three uh, GTX 280s uh, in SLI. Which one would be better? Well, I don't think, uh, his, uh, the video for the uh, 4870X2 hasn't been posted yet, right? No, not yet. Okay, well, it hasn't been posted. It was discussed uh, in one of the videos we shot the other day. Uh, not up yet, but should be up soon. If you're going for specifically to play Crisis, Crisis has been optimized for the uh, NVIDIA architecture. So you're gonna get your better frame rates and better performance on the uh, GTX 280s, especially if you're running three of them. And you're going with the, uh, you wanna go with, uh, Intel chipset. Intel right now is just outperforming AMD in the, in the top end. There's no two ways about it. You wanna go with the Penryn, uh, the, uh, any of the core uh, quad extremes. Uh, the 9000 sequence, that's the new 45 nanometer, higher bus speeds, and just all around faster processor. Also mentions here he wants to overclock. You can't beat the 45 nanometer for the overclocking. That's just it. Um, if you want to build something that's just all around good, that's going to play everything well and not specifically for Crisis, I really recommend going with the 4870X2s. Now, I'm always preferring NVIDIA, but right now, the ATI card, that new 4870X2 is, is just insane, it's amazing. It's killing the G, GTX 280, hands down the best card out on the market right now. It's, you know, it's two chips on, uh, on one card, so you put those in Crossfire, you're at uh, four cards right there, you just can't beat that with uh, three from NVIDIA. Um, I'd say go with that way. Uh, if you want to go with the 64-bit in there, if, you, if you're gonna be putting in up to four gigs of RAM, which he's mentioned in here, he wants to go at least four gigs, 32-bit is just not going to cut it, especially if you put those GTX 280s in there. They've got two gigs of RAM each on them. You've got to go 64-bit almost to be able to uh, to be able to use all the RAM. Otherwise, you hit your uh, RAM ceiling with your 32-bit uh, architecture at the four gigs. That's basically what you're going to have um, on those two 4870s. You're not going to have any room left over for your system RAM. You go that route, you gotta go 64-bit. Even going over to the GTX 280s, that's gonna give you two gigs of RAM in your video. It's only gonna leave two available for the operating system and your system to be able to use. Definitely 64-bit there if you want it, if you need to take advantage of all that RAM. Otherwise, there's no point in getting those cards with all that memory on them. Uh, let's go down to the next one. Uh, thinking of building a own system for gaming, Intel Q6600 or the AMD Phenom 9850. Again, back to, um, what I was talk, touched on in the uh, last question there. Right now, the Intel is just outdoing AMD. The uh, Phenoms are competing pretty well against the Q6600. I would say go up to the um, the Quad 9000 sequence. Going back again to the 45 nanometer new instruction sets. The, uh, um, all that new instruction sets, all the new architecture, just all around uh, a better chip. And I don't know. It's just. Right now, I've always been a fan of AMD, but right now, Intel's just killing them in performance. You know, what can I say? You gotta go with what's outperforming the other stuff. Um, let's see, what else have we got going on here? Um, oh yeah, last uh, inbox, uh, Friday, Albert was talking about uh, Bigfoot. You guys saw the Bigfoot thing, uh, is it real or is it not? Turns out, when they did the DNA analysis on the hair, it was a, what was it, it was a possum, right guys? Possum or a raccoon or something. I think I heard a squirrel. Something. There were all kind of small mammals in there. Not sure where the actual body came from, but the fur they analyzed was, uh, it was definitely not a uh, primate. So, turns out that looks like it was uh, fake again. Is Bigfoot real? Who knows? That one most definitely wasn't. Uh, got another question here talking about going with the um, AGF physics accelerator. Something we haven't heard a whole lot about recently. Um, especially on the uh, PCI cards themselves. Uh, let's see, Corey's asking, uh, building a system with a GTX 280, wanted to get the physics accelerator, doesn't have enough PCIe slots. That's actually, um, the PCIe doesn't really matter because your AG of physics, um, even when it was on the card, was a PCI card, it was never on the PCIe. 
So not having enough PCIe slots doesn't really factor into the uh, physics card. Um, wants to know basically GTX 280 or go with the uh, 29800 GTs and the physics card. Go with the 280. The GTX 280 series as well as the 9000 series have the physics processing unit built onto the card or they have they basically they do the physics processing right there on the card they have the agia physics drivers nvidia now owns agia no reason to put the card in there especially if you're going with one of those high-end cards it's already built right on don't have to worry about it there um yeah go with the higher card don't worry about your extra slots there uh let's hit this one here um Best setup for an F, uh, XFX 790i motherboard, three GTX 280s and SLI overclocked to the max with liquid cooling, 1600 watt power supply, uh, two gig, uh, sorry, four gigs of OCZ uh, PC 16000 DDR3. Best processor for overclocking will be water cooling. If there's any other changes to the system, please tell me. System sounds great as it is right now. Doesn't really look like you need to make too many changes to it. Um, great motherboard. Graphics cards look fine, ton of memory on there. Definitely, again, stick with the 64-bit, otherwise you're gonna lose a lot of that memory to, um, to your uh, memory ceiling there. As far as the CPU, oh, I'm gonna throw my pen around. As far as the CPU goes for the overclocking, um, again, what I was saying earlier, the QX um, 9000 sequence there, got a couple of different choices there. Go all out, that 45 nanometer processor is fantastic for overclocking. Intel has actually got about another 30 or 40 percent performance out of it clock for clock over their last uh, sequence of 65 nanometer, as well as a drop in uh, overall temperature in the clock for clock area. Um, clock speeds have even gone up. I think they're at about 40, 50 percent more performance on average um, with only about a 10 percent increase in power. So you got a fantastic processor there that does not generate a lot of heat, lends itself very well to overclocking. Go into the extreme editions, you've got that unlocked multiplier, and you basically, you can send those things through the roof. I've seen those things go over four gigahertz on air. If you're gonna be liquid cooling, you can really send that thing up sky high. Uh, do wanna make sure you get a good liquid cooling block uh, when you do set it up. It's not something that's too, too difficult to set up, but it's something you definitely wanna take your time with, be diligent, double, triple, quadruple check everything. The last thing you need is to spend $1,200, $1,300, $1,400 on an Extreme Edition processor and then go in there and you've got a leak somewhere that fries the system the first time you flip it on there. That's about the worst thing you can possibly do. So just be diligent, double, triple, quadruple check everything and you'll be fine. And that processor, you can, you can send the uh, frequency on that thing sky high and I've seen them go up with minimal changes in the voltage so you don't really have to worry about that too much well running out of time for this one here um keep the emails coming uh got some great questions lined up there were a bunch over there that i uh, just had on the air but didn't have enough time to work them in there but uh guys i gotta get out of here before we run out of time i'm linus i'll see you guys next time